Good morning everybody and welcome to the Iceland vlog. So today is going to be a fun day guys. We are on our first exploring mission. In last week's video you might have seen us exploring Reykjavik which was already a lot of fun and today is our first day out into Icelandic nature. So here's the plan for today. We're gonna go to the Tingvillir National Park. Let me know if I pronounce this correctly if you're from Iceland. Then we're also gonna go see the famous Geysir and then we're gonna go see the incredibly big Gullfoss waterfall which must be really impressive. I'm really looking forward to that. So as you can see we have a lot planned. Let's go. I will see you again in the Tingvillir National Park. Hello guys, we made it to the Tingvellir National Park. The first thing to, that is good to know is that you don't pay anything to enter the park but you pay seven and fifth, 750 Icelandic krona is that the right way to say it is it krona krona <laughs> which is about six US dollars uh, for parking there is also a little gift shop where you can get some coffee and then there are different routes that you can take but this is what it looks like this is the tectonic plate part and um, Depending when you come, I don't know how it will be in summer or depending on what time of the day it is There are a lot of people so it can it doesn't look as peaceful as it does on the pictures you will see on the internet But it's still a beautiful place You can see this part with uh, the tectonic plates You can see a waterfall there is a river that you can go to. There is the place where the old parliament was back in the day when all of these different kinds of clans came to Iceland. They, oh, my hair, I'm inhaling my hair. <laughs> they spread around all over the island and they did share like the same language and the same religion and stuff, but they still had different customs and belief systems. So there was of course tension and there was like fighting involved. So in order to find a way for all of the clans to get along they came to this place and had like a neutral ground which was like an early day parliament kind of where they came together and discuss political based um, things which um, involved about 30 different chiefs of the different clans all around Iceland so that's really interesting to think that before any other um, people set up some kind of political system, the early clans um, who came to Iceland already had this idea in their head to come together and discuss matters in order to keep the peace, which I think is really nice. I'm so happy that we came in autumn because as you guys know I love autumn but the colors the yellow and the red and the orange it's just so pretty I mean I, I have nothing to compare it to but I'm just loving it so if you're thinking about coming to Iceland maybe just see what you want to like what is important to you but honestly autumn you have less tourists and it's just so so beautiful so I think it is worth a try to come here in the colder season and I'm sure that you will enjoy.
is such a beautiful place guys like and the further you walk the less tourists there are so you can right now we're alone so you have a little bit more quiet and peace and you can enjoy the surroundings it's such a beautiful place and you know how i love the beach and everything but coming to a place where the climate is a bit rougher and nature is i don't know it looks so raw and rough and the colors and the shapes and i don't know there's just something special about places like these and i'm also getting a bit into the christmas mood <laughs> oh my goodness christmas is around the corner <laughs> if you're happy and you know it clap your hands <laughs> guys it's so weird to think that before do you see the one back there that is the american tectonic plate and now we are standing on the Eur Eurasian tectonic plate. So they're only seven kilometers apart. And to think that before we were standing on one tectonic plate and now on the other is such a weird experience. <laughs> we were a little bit shocked because in the beginning where the entrance is there are a lot of tourists and we thought oh my goodness if this is going to be the whole the whole way full of people it's not going to be very enjoyable but after a while it kind of you can go left you can go right you can go straight and the further in you go into the park the less people there are so it gets really enjoyable and it's such a pretty view so if you are in the area of Reykjavik if you're looking to go on a day trip or you're just passing through we can definitely recommend you visiting this national park it is beautiful hello guys editing Mimi right here as I am editing this video I realized that I have way too much footage to put it all into one video like I already suspected because we just did so many things that day so I'm gonna cut this video into two parts next week I'm gonna show you part two of the golden circle where we're gonna see the geysir and the Gulfos waterfall it's gonna be amazing I really hope that you enjoyed part one of the golden circle video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already there are many 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 any more Iceland vlogs to come. I will see you next week with another amazing video and until then don't forget to be grateful, be happy and be kind. Bye!